Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. This video, I'm going to show it to you why we need to have so many parameters. For example, we have the Z parameters, which is the impedance parameters. We also have the Y, which is known as the emittance parameters. We also have the S parameter, which is the scattering parameters. And then we also have this A, B, C, D parameters. Okay, so this video, I'm going to explain okay, why we need to have S and also a, B, C, D parameters. This video, I will share with you how can you convert S parameters into A, B, C, D parameters and how from A, B, C, D parameters convert back to the S parameters. Firstly, let me describe why we need to do all this conversion. For example, you have this VR and then basically the manufacturer can be easily measure the S parameters of this VR as it's shown over here. Next will be this transmission line. Again, the manufacturer can easily measure the transmission line and provide you the set of S parameters. So now you basically need to join the VR to the transmission line and then you need to obtain their overall S parameters. However, okay, to so-called integrate these two S parameters into one is not easy. So the first thing what you need to do is you need to convert them into A, B, C, D parameters. Okay, so this is how we can convert them into A, B, C, D parameters. Okay, so on my next slide, I will show you how can we actually convert. But over here, you can see that what I need to do is I convert the S parameters into the A, B, C, D parameters for the VR. As for the transmission line, I do the same. I convert the S parameters into the A, B, C, D parameters. And again, from this equation, you can see that I can easily obtain the overall A, B, C, D parameters by doing these steps here. So basically in short, okay, so next what I need to do is I need to convert the overall A, B, C, D parameters into S parameters. Then this set of S parameters will be the overall S parameters of the VR connected to the transmission line as you can see from here. Let's take a look on the equation here. So this is how we convert from the S parameters into A, B, C, D parameters. And you can see that I have detailed okay, how we can actually convert from the S parameters into the ABC parameters. Over here, okay, basically will be the reverse process is how to convert the ABCD parameters into S parameters. As I mentioned early on, once I have convert the S parameters into ABC parameters, I can do their cascade together. After that, I will obtain the overall ABCD parameters and then I need to convert them back to the original as parameters. With this, if you need to have more information, please see the playlist under the description.